Good evening. Over the last week, Singaporeans have been disturbed and confused by news of the private dispute between my siblings and me. I deeply regret that this dispute has affected Singapore's reputation and Singaporeans' confidence in the government. As your Prime Minister, I apologise to you for this. And as the eldest of the siblings, it grieves me to think of the anguish that this would have caused our parents if they were still alive. I had done everything possible to avoid this state of affairs. My father left the property at 38 Oxley Road to me as part of my equal share of his estate. But my siblings were not happy about this. I tried to deal with the unhappiness privately. I offered to transfer 38 Oxley Road to my sister for a nominal $1. Unfortunately, that offer failed. I then sold the house to my brother at a fair market valuation and donated all of my proceeds to charity. I had hoped that this would satisfy them. There should be no reason for any further quarrel since I no longer own the house and I do not take part in any government decisions on the house. However, my siblings have decided to go out and make serious allegations publicly. For example, they say that I'm using my position as Prime Minister to influence the ministerial committee chaired by DPM Tiu Chi Hien. These allegations go beyond private and personal matters and extend to the conduct of my office and the integrity of the government. Much as I would like to move on and end a most unhappy experience for Singaporeans, these baseless accusations against the government cannot be left unanswered. They must be and will be dealt with openly and refuted. When Parliament sits on the 3rd of July, I will make a ministerial statement to refute the charges. All MPs will have then the opportunity to raise questions for themselves and their constituents. I have instructed that the PAP party whip be lifted. I urge all MPs, including the non-PAP MPs, to examine the issues thoroughly and question me and my cabinet colleagues vigorously. I hope that this full public airing in Parliament will dispel any doubts that have been planted and strengthen confidence in our institutions and our system of government. I want to assure all Singaporeans that this matter will not distract me and my cabinet colleagues from our responsibility to govern Singapore and to deal with more important national issues, including the pressing economic and security challenges we face. As public servants, my ministers and I will always protect the integrity of our institutions and uphold the strict standards separating private affairs from our public duties. We are determined to repair the damage that has been done to Singapore. We will continue to lead our nation and serve you to the best of our ability.